Hi there, sports fans. This is Play It Right TV, and we are on live. Ito po si Kinito Henson, all the way from Jakarta, and we've got... I am Diane Castillejo, so thankful. Welcome again to our live episode, and both Coach Chot, of course, and Kinito are in Jakarta right after the Gilas participation in the Asia Cup. So we have much to talk about. Coach Chot, thank you very much for joining us, Kinito. Well, Coach Chot, uh, we know how busy you are. It's been a tough grind, and uh, you're with your team, with your players. Uh, maybe a lot of consoling to do, but... Uh, This uh, performance of the Philippines in the FIBA Asia Cup in Jakarta has been, well, sad to say, a disaster. It was a ninth place finish, and this was uh, the worst finish of the Philippines in the FIBA Asia Cup in 13 years. Coach, did you expect this kind of disaster? Um, you entered this picture with eyes wide open. Yeah, uh, obviously, uh, I, I've, I'm always an optimist. Uh, I always hope for the best, right? But uh, like you said, uh, we came into this with our eyes wide open. We knew that this was a possibility. We were aiming for at least eighth place, uh, an eighth place fin to, to get into. I mean, we were aiming to get at least into the top eight to get into the quarterfinals. Uh, but like you said, unfortunately, uh, we did not get the job done. And uh, uh, we are where we are uh, right now. So, Coach John, right after the press conf, uh, right after the game, of course, I heard you at the press conference. Uh, press conference, you are disappointed. The players are disappointed. The country is disappointed, of course. Uh, can you share with us what kind of conversations uh, you've been having with the team so far after the game? Maybe today, the day after, Coach. Well, uh, first of all, uh, you know, I said, uh, I, I, I told the players that uh, I wish I could have been a better coach for them to get them to uh, uh, into the quarterfinals, uh, at least uh, to the top eight. Uh, mm -hmm. That's number one. And number two, uh, but I also told them not to be discouraged, uh, to get to, to learn the lessons from uh, this uh, difficult experience Uh, because it's going to help them in their own uh, respective journeys, whether to as part of Gilas in the future. Uh, you know, you know, our players. Some of them are going to Japan. Some of them are going to Korea. Some of mm -hmm. them are going to go back to the to play for their college teams in the UAP. And I said that uh, it, everything that happened here is is just going to be uh, uh, of. Uh, a, greater benefit for for them so in spite of the the of how uh, uh, downhearted we felt uh, that they should still take the lessons from that and then finally to, to just keep our eyes on on the big picture which is to make sure that we're able to be available for to make themselves available and keep getting better for 2023 because um, mm -hmm. When I was hired, that was what I was hired for, to put the best team together for, for the World Cup. Coach Shot, there's been a lot of bashing in social media. Very cruel, very unfair. You didn't ask for this job. You didn't apply for this job. Coach mm -hmm. Tab Baldwin declined to coach in the February window. And uh, SBP and uh, Sir MVP asked you to fill in at very short notice. You hardly had any players. I think you had less than eight players. And several of them were going to the PBA draft. You had five weeks to prepare for February. And even now, it appears to be a system problem because player availability has been an issue. Um, personally, I don't think it's a coaching problem. I think it's a player availability problem because you go to war with players without much training time, without a naturalized player, without your top scorer, Dwight Ramos, How are you expected to perform, Coach Shot? Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you 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 put it that way, uh, Kinito. I I was hired on February 1 to play uh or to to play my first game in the Feb on Feb 25. Right. So that took me 24 days, and I was left with barely anything. I had five or six players. Uh, there was there were no players available. There was no plan. There was no program. Even the coaching staff, we had to really start from scratch, start from zero. So, the yun palang it was already a very difficult uh, predicament to be in. Uh, it was a really tough start, and now I'm 
what, I'm four months into the job. And still, we haven't gone into a tournament with, with uh, any kind of preparation. This team started practicing as a whole team after the India game. If you remember, there was the in game against India in Manila. Yes. And then we gave the players a couple of days off. And then they started practicing on July 6 for mm -hmm. our first game on what was our when was our first game july 13, 13. or something yeah so <laughs> i mean uh like you said we we don't have our naturalized player we don't have a naturalized player dwight ramos was also injured and then compound that with the with the lack of practice time again you know this is not to make excuses, but I, 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 I just hope everyone understands how difficult the, the situation is. We're trying our best as a coaching staff to facilitate, to expedite, uh, put together the team. But it, it, it takes time for people, for, for players to learn how to play together, how to play mm -hmm. within a, 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 a system. And... We're playing against teams here who are already, uh, they're very veteran uh, established teams. So uh, it, it was really, really difficult. We really tried our best, but it's not yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Coach, uh, in the press conference, you did say that uh, there are plans in place uh, between now and the World Cup uh, to obviously bounce yeah. back. Would you be able to share some of the plans? Because, siempre naghihinta yung mga fans kung anong gagawin ng gilas uh, pagkatapos nito. Yeah, we've already plotted uh, the all the competitions and the windows all the way to August 2023. Um, and the next one, obviously, is the August 25 uh, game versus Lebanon as part of the World Cup qualifiers. The part of the I think that's the fourth window already. And um, uh, by then, we will have uh, uh, p some PBA players available because the PBA will then be in the semifinals or approaching the finals already. So there will already be some players available. Very thankful for to the PBA for allowing us and lending us those players. Uh, we also have uh, word that uh, Jordan Clarkson is uh, also coming, uh, hoping to, to, to uh, join the team as well. To play on uh, on the 25th and the 29th. Uh, hopefully, Kai Soto can make it this time. Um, but again, we we will only start practicing on August 15 when everyone is is available. Uh, but at least we will see some other players, uh, some more players who who uh, uh, th that we can take a look at for for 2023 uh, of about uh, from all the pool of players that we are. Uh, 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 trying out uh, who can make it for for 2023, and so um, that's that's part of the plan. The August 25 mm -hmm. window. Unfortunately, for November, I'm already telling everyone that we're going to really have a problem for the November window because the PBA is going go ongoing, the UAP and the NCAA are ongoing, so there's really going to be a. a uh, a problem putting a team together for for November. We are we have some contingency plans, but uh, I guess for everyone to just appreciate the the problem and the difficulties that we're facing. February window next year, uh, at least the again the UAP and the college leagues will be uh, off. So again, we will have the the benefit of those players as well, uh, and so so on and so forth until. We are really preparing for uh, middle of May uh, or uh, of 2023 when um, the PBA will be off and we are going to get uh, mm -hmm. all the players we want, uh, for whether from the PBA or from the college leagues, to train for at least three months. And that's the, that's the plan, to hopefully get full, full training preparation time uh, so that by August 2023, we will have a team uh, as well prepared as the one that we had in in uh, 2014 when we played in the mm -hmm. World Cup uh, as well. So, so that's the plan. That's the plan that we have at the moment. Uh, Coach Shot, uh, just looking at uh, the performance of <clears throat> Gilas in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifying windows, we were six and zero. 
we didn't uh, lose a game in the Asia Cup qualifiers. And we beat South Korea twice during that period. And then we went on to uh, to the um, Olympic qualifying where we lost two games. So we were competitive against Serbia. That was that performance was under coach Tab Baldwin. Now you've taken over. A lot of fans are comparing the performance then and the performance now. What has changed in making it now more difficult to win games? Well, first of all, we, we really like the program that Coach Tab put together. Remember, we were, uh, uh, I was the one who brought Tab here, right? Uh, really, and, and we really liked the program that he put together. And he had the benefit of three months. They had the full three, four month training in a bubble. Remember, that was uh, uh, just when uh, COVID was, uh, was coming in and, and people were, that, that, that team that Tab, Tab put together had the, uh, had the benefit of uh, a full uh, preparation time. And we were very excited, myself included. I was very supportive of that program that was put together and was, in fact, playing competitively and playing well. Unfortunately, a lot of things happened. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, players went to Japan. Someone went to Taipei. The, the, the other players went to the PBA so uh, the, that program that Coach Tab put together is just, it's no longer, <laughs> it's no longer there. Mm -hmm. And that's why, I, I guess that's why he, uh, he, he stepped down and, and uh, I was asked to, to now take over. And like I said, I, I, I took over uh, a program with, with very little uh, remaining and we're just trying to put it together now. We're, we're, we're trying to repair the plane as we are flying it. At the same time, we're flying it. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's another way to put it. So uh, I hope that we are able to to, to just uh, continue putting, uh, getting the support of everyone for that. Uh, Diane, I just want to insert this because there's a question here from Don Tiburcio. How are you sure, Kinito, that Tab Baldwin declined from the job? Um, we want to hear it from Coach Shot. Did he decline? Mm -mm. from coaching that February window? Uh, I, I I don't know for sure, but the way it was explained to me was, yes, he told the MVP that he was, he he did not want to coach the window. And he in fact said that, uh, uh, that uh, I should be the one to coach in, in February. So I, I cannot answer that because I, I wasn't personally there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but I was so, able to get that straight from uh, both uh, Ricky Vargas and Alpan Lili of the SPP. So yes, um, they did tell me that uh, Coach Tab declined the February window. Yes, Dan, please. Coach, you know the fans are like you know they pinapano talaga yung gila. So many comments, cruel comments. Um, um, many are saying that uh, they're tired of these lessons learned, the word lessons learned, experiences. But as you said, it's really part of the process and things happen, right? As you mentioned earlier. So with uh, with the plan right now that you have in place, getting Jordan, which is great news, hopefully Kai, and the best PBA players there later on next year. Uh, how Do you think that we can still put up uh, a team, as you said, that will be performing at least uh, well in the World Cup? Yes, I'm very optimistic that uh, given uh, preparation time and given the availability of all the, given the, the pick of the all the available players uh, and, mm -hmm. and with all the players in the country making themselves available, whether they're in Japan or Korea or in the US or wherever they are, uh, if uh, all the players are available and then we give we get them together for three months uh, for for full preparation and practice uh, then yes I'm very optimistic that we are going to put up a, a competitive team uh, in the World Cup that we can put the best foot forward the best team possible for for 2023 coach Ot, let's whet the appetite of our Filipino fans. And can you just uh, disclose to us some of the players who you're thinking of in your wish list for the World Cup, just to get everyone excited? Yeah. 
I, I think there's there's no there's no surprise that we want, of course, Junmar and Japet to be there. But we're also very intrigued. We want to take a look at Oftana, Malonso, uh, these players, uh, uh, and how they're going to play with with the guys that we have here, with Ray Ray and, and Dwight and and and, and Kyle Magpayo and and uh, of course the Ravenna brothers. So. Um, We'd, we'd love to have Scotty Thompson to, to take a look at, uh, uh, at how he can play with, with these players as well. Uh, so there's, there's, there's a lot more on, on our list uh, we're taking a look. But of course, uh, right now, it, it's kind of too early to, to, to uh, make any formal pronouncements and we don't want to preempt anyone. But... Uh, if you're just asking me the, to think about and who are the players uh, that that we're thinking of to be, uh, you know, part of that pool or or that pool of players that we're looking at, uh, those guys obviously uh, uh, come to mind. Um, good shot. Just to ask about uh, the Japan game, we were outscored 32-16 in the first quarter, but we matched them point for point in the second quarter. We even outscored them in the third quarter. The kule lang tayo sa fourth period ule, and uh, we were sort of um, surprised by their five-six guard Togashi. Maybe not surprised because I think you knew very well how skilled that player was. But from the average point of view of the fans, we were saying, "Paano naman tayo ng papatalo sa isang five-six na player?" But hindi natin dependan. Also, a lot of uh, layups were being scored. Kulang din tayo sa rim protector. Wala tayong naturalized. Can you just tell us uh, how we played against uh, Japan? Because in terms of free throws, they were 23 out of 25. And we were only 8 out of 12. And that's a big difference just from the free throw line. Coach Shot. Yeah, the, the game plan against Japan was to essentially stay in front of our men one-on-one, uh, to give up contested the two-point shots and not to give them any three-pointers. Unfortunately, we turned the ball over early. Uh, their their pressure defense got to us, and uh, uh, that's what opened the door, the floodgates for for their three point shooting on transition. I think we gave fourteen points in transition right in the first half, and and you know the first quarter was the story essentially of the the ball game. That the first quarter was the difference in the game. Uh, when we had a chance to defend them half court, I thought we were. We did a pretty good job. Of course, the the little breakdowns here and there, there, you know, those are understandable. Like I said, we're we, we were playing NBA. We we're uh, uh, Carl and and uh, Kevin were uh, trying to defend against an NBA player in, in Watanabe. And if you recall, he attacked early, right in the first quarter, and that got Carl into foul trouble right away. And you know. Uh, as as good as a play, we we really love uh, the the games of Carl and Kevin, but they have a combined one year college playing basketball playing experience to to battle against the, that NBA player in in Watanabe, right, and and all of those other Japanese league guys. So um, he attacked early, and uh, obviously when there's penetration, you no matter how we we did not want to try to help too much. But then with, with the, the way they were attacking and we were getting into foul trouble, we were forced to, to help. And then, so that opens up again the, the, the outside shooting, the three-point shooting. So it, that's all connected, right? In the third quarter, we made a pretty good run. I thought we were making some progress, uh, even the, the time that Watanabe got injured out of the game. But now mm -hmm. they went their naturalized player. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. in the end, we really had uh, nothing too much. Uh, I mean, we we start we, we started Gio Chu on him, and and uh, Gio, we all know that he's we, we love Gio's attitude and his work ethic, but he's he's really pretty raw compared to to Evans. We thought Poi Aram did a, a a pretty decent job on him, but uh, he hindi lang na nakatagal. He just did he couldn't uh, keep up. Uh, for long stretches and in the end we tried Will Navarro on him, we tried um, uh, Kembao on him and they were they were just too short for them so 
Yeah, mahirap talaga. Oh, coach, after the game, the, the Japan co- head coach, Coach Tom, said it was a very important game for them to win. Described the Philippines as a very good team, physical game. Uh, you had some words of exchange after nung nag-shake hands kayo after parang nakita ng, na you had a little short conversation. Can you share? Marami kasi nagtatanong, ano kaya yung sinabi ni Coach Tom sa'yo after the game? Yeah, he said, yeah, oh, you 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 had a pretty good team. You have a you have a good team, sabi niya. And uh, uh, he said, wow, boy, the the, the referees uh, just uh, allowed the, uh, the the game to be really physical, huh? And mm. he said, well, you know, that's that, that's FIBA. I said, uh, uh, but he said, yeah, 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 you have a you have a good team. Let's get some questions in from uh from the fans and from the viewers. Um, um. This is from uh, um, Gintu. Why the PBA can't adjust its calendar for Phoebe windows? Same old problem. I think, yes, that's being addressed. Um, there will be a uh, three-month closure of the PBA to give ample time for training for the World Cup. And then Marie Villan, maga adjust ang PBA for the schedule sa SEA Games 2019, tayo ang host. Um, by the way, talking about the SEA Games, go shot. There will be the Sea Games May 16 to 15. So that will be in just about the start yeah. our training period. Um, how oh, are yeah. we going to prepare for that one? Because we have to win back that gold. <laughs> yeah, by that time, uh, thankful, uh, again, the, the college uh, leagues, UAP and NCAA will be off. So hopefully we can get uh, a chance to put together a strong, solid team train with a lot of training and then get a naturalized player with them as well uh so that like you said we can win back that goal uh, there is there, there was a comment as well on saying that yeah there on brian dantes uh, yeah. what has Regarding changed kung dribble drive uh, coach shot i don't think i've seen you do the dribble drive in a long long time uh, why are your fans still thinking that you're doing it uh, coach yeah I know. Um, in the Sea Games, we went to a low post offense to take advantage of Junmar, and here we were ca- ca- calling uh, a lot of the plays uh, that that Coach Nena had uh, implemented and put in. Uh, because remember, we we had prepared. Uh, this team went to Korea, and this team went to New Zealand, and so so we we were not running the dribble drive uh, at all. Uh, so. Uh, uh sorry to disappoint uh, all the the fans who think we are running the dribble drive we are not running the dribble drive here's a question from Dennis Feria coach shot if you really support the team are you willing to swap positions with coach Nenad you step down as assistant coach and promote Nenad as head coach uh I don't think that's your call but anyway what's your comment um yeah we had discussions uh, about that and like i said uh, unfortunately we cannot divulge the, the the content of those discussions but um uh like i said that's that's not my call a coach shot also i was uh, noticing that the a lot of the asian countries with naturalized imports of course have really improved their style yeah. of game has conformed more to the international style than us um, in the PBA, there's a lot of dribble, <laughs> slow down, set up. Parang hindi na masyadong tugma sa international game. Yeah. Do, you, do you have that sense of feeling? Uh, yeah, it's, it's... The international game is just very different from the game that we are playing uh, in the PBA. So I think that's, that's, that's the one thing that, uh, that we have to all accept, really. And that's why we need to have uh, practice and preparation and tune-ups. When, when we go into tournaments, we have to be able to keep uh, playing uh, tune-up games against tough international teams to get the, the PBA players uh, acclimatized and used to, to, to a kind of pace. Like you said, you know, we... Japan started so hard and uh, New Zealand as well started very, very strong against us. So much so that the games, the, the margin of difference in the first quarter was basically, you know, the entire ball game already. And uh, that, that that's what I mean. Uh, in terms of movement, speed, athleticism, 
yeah, when you have your best players on the team, that, that's really what you're going to see, right? Uh, uh, the, Jap the J Japanese team, the, the Lebanese team, these are these are their best players. These are the people that the, these are the players who are constantly playing in their in their pro leagues, and and they 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 know exactly how to play the system. Uh, uh, with with regards to dribble drive or five out system, that's uh well a lot of teams here are playing it. Uh, Japan uh, was a perfect example. They just went to a five out uh, system uh, and just kept uh, attacking us. Uh, and we're seeing that kind of um, movement, if you want to call it, uh, all over now. And like I said, these are the things that we need to be able to cope with and, and adjust. Uh, the Jap Japanese game is very different from the Lebanese game. is very different from the New Zealand game. And so for, for any team to be competitive in a tournament, you have to be prepared for all of those to, to be able to defend and cope uh, with all of those uh, styles of play. And uh, you can only get that when you have time together by, by training, practicing, and, and uh, yeah, being in the trenches together for, for a period of time. You can't get that in, in one week, two weeks, not even in one month. You, you really need Tama yung sinasabi dito ni yeah. Maurice, no? kapag one month lang talagang uh, tapos tsaka kikilos, hindi talaga pe pwede. No? Um, we're running out of time, uh, Coach Shot, and we promised you only 20 minutes. Uh, and we know you're very busy and you're doing a lot of things, but uh, my last question will be, what do you think Jordan Clarkson can do for our team? Can he make our other players better? Will they be able to get better looks at the basket? Uh, what can he bring to the table? Yeah, I think uh, the one thing Jordan will will bring to the team is is gravity. He will uh, he will attract a lot of gravity. He is going to be able to uh, just by being him on the court. The other team is really going to worry uh, about uh stopping him and by that uh by virtue of that alone like you said it's going to give uh open looks for his teammates uh, open spaces and and uh, opportunity for other players to 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 make their to to attack and and, and score uh so uh, uh that's that's the one thing uh we need to have on our team kind of uh, well, in, in basketball parlance, we call it buckets, right? We need to have a, a guy that we know that when we go to, something will happen, like like Arakji of, of Lebanon or Watanabe of, of Japan, right? Or, or Togashi of Japan. Uh, players like these who you know, uh, uh, they will get you something. They'll get you a basket, a foul, or they'll make a great play and assist. Uh, and I think that's what Jar Jordan can, can bring to this team. Dan? Great news on Jordan that, you know, able to join the team once again. I think, you know, he was once with us before in the Asian Games. So you mentioned that the, the team will start training for the August window on August 15. Do you already know how much time Jordan uh, Clarkson will be able to practice with the team before? Well, that's where the discussion is now. Uh, we're uh, we're uh, talking about him arriving to start practicing on August 15. Uh, that's also the time where the PBA semifinals will end uh, around the time, so the players will be available as well. So uh, some of our guys, Ray Ray Parks, also had to go fly back to the US. Then he has to go through Japan, but he'll be back uh, before that as well. So uh, that's the schedule. Again, it's not enough, not nearly enough practice time, but. We're we're making do with what we have, uh, and I hope we the fans realize that we're it, it's not ideal circumstances, but we're making do with what we have, and, and we're we're trying our best. And All we're right. Sure. We can give the public. Yeah. Uh, just before we let you go, I have to ask this question: How affected are you by these comments from social media? And I'm sure it's uh, it's been painful not only for you but also your family. It's been painful for all of us who know you personally. Well, I, I'm logged off uh, Twitter or Facebook, so I, I don't see it, I don't read it. But of course, I know because, like you said, the, the people around me, they, they're the ones who, unfortunately, are the ones getting uh, the brunt of it. Uh, so um, 
I'd be I'd be uh, lying if I say that it isn't affecting me uh, personally. But um, the way I look at it, my attitude towards it is that you know when I accepted the job, I knew that this was part of the territory. Um, uh, as long as uh, the SBP, we have the support of SBP management and the leadership. Uh, uh, behind the program, then we're just going to continue doing our job. Um, there was a question earlier, what if we, we make Nena the head coach and, and all that? I mean, yeah, that, that all, that's always a possibility, but even if he's the head coach, it's not going to give us a naturalized player. It's not going to give us the players that we want. <laughs> so the, not much is, is going to change uh we're not going to still get the preparation time, so um, uh, that's 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 the those are the cards that are dealt to us. And like I said, I'd be lying if I if I say that it it uh, doesn't affect me personally. But uh, you know, I'm just uh, uh, trying my best to keep uh, my eyes on the big picture, uh, and and hopefully. All of these things, uh, there's a meaning behind all this. Hopefully, we that, that there is purpose in this pain. Uh, so just continue to choose faith over fear. Um, just a last message, uh, Coach Shot, uh, to all of our fans that they hang in there. Um, we're looking at the big picture, and we're going to fight till the end. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kenito. Thanks for your continued support. Same thing with you, Diane. Uh, really appreciate it. And again, like we said, uh, while we're here, we're going to do our very best. Diane, your final thoughts? Um, Diane, you're on mute. Praying and believing for a bounce back, Coach. Like you said, hopefully we can come back and do a Fantastic performance like we did when you led the team in 2014. So all the best to the team, Hogs. And uh, let's keep uh, looking up. Faith over fear. I like that. God bless, Coach Chaw. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll talk to you again here on Play It, right? Give our Thank best you. to Thank all, you, coach. The, all the players. Thank you, Coach. Well, that's it. Our exclusive uh, conversation with uh, Coach Chaw Reyes from Jakarta. And... Uh, we heard it straight from his mouth. There are plans on the table. We're looking forward to uh, the big picture. That's the World Cup in 2023. There will be more bumps on the road. August may not be so much of a problem. I think we'll be competitive, but November will be an issue. February will be an issue. But if we're able to get back the gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games for men's basketball in May, then we'll be uh, on the road to getting uh, better prepared for the World Cup in 2023. Dan? Yeah, well, you know, like they say in sports, you know, there, there are ups and downs and we're on a down, but hopefully we can start the trajectory on the up with regards to our Gilas basketball team. So thank you so much again for joining us and we hope you enjoy this live episode. Kinito, all the way in Jakarta, you were, you were right there to watch the games. How was it? I mean... Seeing them like well, so very, up close. I mean, the Japan game was like, I mean, these these guys are like so tall, you know, and so good. I would love to hear your very, your first hand comment. Very exciting, of course. Very exciting, especially since one of the players is going to be playing for La Salle next uh, season, Kevin Kambao. Oh. And uh, but of course, very, very painful because you know, in the end, you look at the result and it wasn't yeah. the outcome that we we wanted. Uh, it's almost like the outcome we expected, but not the outcome that uh, that we wanted. Oh, don't forget, for all of our viewers, all of our followers, if you enjoy this episode, we've got lots more coming your way. So like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell button so you get notified every time we have new episodes, new shows, new videos for you. In the end, what about our sponsor? Yes, while you're at it, please check out playitright.com. They have superior world-class sports and fitness products. Brands like Asics, one of our favorites, of course, Mueller, Molten. So many different brands for all your needs for yourself and for the family. Why not visit playitright.com? All right, that's it for us uh, in this episode of Play It Right. 
TV. This is Kinito Henson. And I'm Diane Castillo. I'll see you next time. God bless. Mabuhay, Philippines. Thank <laughs> you.